Yo, yo, what up everyone? Today, we got a, uh, we got a, we got a little, little big rod unboxing here. Um, it's a Phoenix Feather Series casting rod. I ordered this during the Memorial Day sale, but it's been out of stock and it just came back. And I got it just in time for Lake George because I'm gonna be leaving in the morning. So, sorry if you hear any noise right now. My AC's running, it's so hot out. We got people mowing their grass and my dog's barking, so I'm sure you guys can hear me fine. It's probably not that bad, but um, you know, I've been waiting a long time for this. I got their spinning rod and I took it to Champlain for the BFL and the thing was flawless, great sensitivity, really light, everything that the review said so far, so I'm feeling that I'm gonna like this casting rod, but let's get into it. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so here we go. All right, so they got the um, protection on the tip there. Don't forget protection. All right, there we go. So pull it out. All I gotta say is, dang, this thing. All right, let me take. I keep forgetting here. Beautiful. Oh my god. Guys, this rod is so light. That is unbelievable. So here it is. Phoenix Feather Casting Rod. Got it during the Memorial Day sale. $134, something like that, with the 15% off, so really good deal. Um, this is a seven foot one heavy, rated a quarter ounce to two ounces. Um, this is gonna be my jig rod. Um, football jigs, um, stuff like that. There was a seven foot seven, but um, I don't really bomb j. I would, I would use that extra tip for um, just making bomb casts, and you know I've been fine with the uh, shorter, like seven foot one rods for jigs. I feel like I can control it more and um, feel the bite a little more. It's got the extra fast tip on it, so perfect for jigs. Um, but yeah, this this thing is absolutely beautiful, guys. That thing is absolutely beautiful right there. The Feather series is new by Phoenix. Um, it's got, usually I'm like a cork fan, but um, the foam grips, I don't I don't really care that much to be honest. So forget I even said I'm a, a cork fan, but um, this real seat right here, really comfortable. I don't know what that's for right there. There's like a, it's the first time I've ever seen that. There's a hole in the uh, real trigger grip right there. I don't know that's pretty interesting but um yeah so these new feather rods feature the uh, carbide guides the EVA foam grip here with uh, carbon accents but this thing it's just so sleek looking um, this is just my first impression video and um, I can't really tell you too much about the rod um, any more than you already might learn from looking online but um, I'm just giving my initial reaction and feels about this rod all the guides are lined up I've, I've gotten rods where the guides are all messed up, but these these seem really good. Um, it's super lightweight for being a heavy. Um, I heard it has good backbone, really good tip for jigs, and um, super lightweight. I can already tell right off the bat that it is just holding it. And um, sensitivity. Now, I haven't tried it out yet, so I can't tell you much about it. Um, I will very soon, uh, tomorrow, when I go to Lake George. But I can tell you that the Feather Spinning Series is super sensitive, so I kind of have a feeling that this is gonna um, be like the same thing. So, um, so far, I'm impressed with the spinning. I'll get back to you guys on what I think about the casting, but that's pretty much it. So I'll see you next time. Peace. 